So guys, as I say, I don't usually share readings. Um, we originally came down here to just play with our toys. Uh, the SLS camera, which as you can see we're still getting used to. Uh, but her mum did an amazing job in it. And uh, we're going to have a little play with the grid light. And then we've got a gentleman here that wants to have a chat on the spirit box. So just bear with us. We thought we'd do this. As, as I say, we're into lockdown still and we're all hanging in there. So um, she's, yeah, allowed me to share this. So I thank her very much and just okay, keep joining so us. I've got the grid lights on, Kathy, And I'm just going to ask, are you able to make them... Well done. Didn't even say anything. Crikey. Mm. Good job. Well done. That was awesome. Are you able to do something with them again? Yeah, go you. Wow, that is amazing. You're having a massive play. Your energy is really good. Okay, so guys, Trish is uh, a friend of mine who we've never really had good chats about um, family or anything. So when her mum came through, I know her mum had passed because uh, we talked about it with my mum passing as well. But I didn't know the story behind her mum. We'd never spoken about her dad. Um, so a reading, guys, when you have a reading, is really important to get validation. And so we had a little chat before. And when your mum came through, do you feel that she gave you good validation? I do, yeah, I do. Yeah. So, for instance... When she came to me and she was saying about your dad, no record, no record, no record, to me, <clears throat> that meant nothing. But what did it mean for you? I mean, obviously, I, you don't need to share your whole story, but if you want to share some of it, just so people can see what, how I can get something which means nothing to me, but for you it meant so much. My uh, dad, there was no record of my dad was buried or cremated. So... That's the no record bits that you, you're talking about. No one knows that because Dad's right. been gone for 30 odd years. So and you and I have never spoken about it. I don't yet. speak about my father. Yeah. I just, I've got nothing, or I've had nothing else to say about Dad, so I don't talk about it. Oh, yes, I talk about my mother. Yeah. Not to yourself as much, but, you know, she's a very special part of who I was or who I am. But Dad was. And yeah. I think with. Is this your first reading? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, with a lot of mediums, they will say, I've got your great-grandmother here, she's, she's saying that you're doing really well, she's really proud of you, she's, um, she thinks you're doing really well, she wants you to have a bit more rest. That's really general, mm -hmm. so that could relate to anybody. Mm -hmm. So, to give, like, um, ages, uh, months, mm -hmm. yeah. um, Something that's really like she did show me a cemetery. That's right. Um, something that's specific. That's validation. That's what you should always get. Yeah. Yeah. So we tried to do the spirit box, guys, um, because we do have a, a a young lad. He's staying here with us, and but my speaker, you would have seen on the last video, of the cemetery is playing up. So we're going to give that a miss. Um, so thank you for sharing your not all of your reading because we will have some private time um but your reading with us just so that people can understand that yeah don't don't go for second best don't go for the general stuff um i went to a spiritual um uh, evening over in taronga not long ago and uh, a medium was there and he talked about spirit animals for people and he said oh you've got your spirit animal is this and your spirit animal is that and your spirit animal is this now that's fine everybody has a spirit animal that looks after them but it just wasn't specific I could say to you your spirit animal is a wolf and a wolf is strong and you know, you don't know that that's coming from spirit. That could just be me saying what I think sounds really, really good. But we do have, uh, and I have to call him a, a, a lad, he's saying, standing beside you. 
Um, so we know each other through work, um, through lockdown. We've been in each other's <laughs> bubble for the last month. It's been um, great. <laughs> yeah, and thank you. That's right. Man. So um, I haven't been able to go out and do any of my spiritual stuff, which I know that there's lots of you waiting out there for readings, and I thank you for that. So thank you for letting us have a play with the camera. No that was really cool. Um, but this chap that wants to talk to you, he, um, he, I, w I was calling him a gentleman, and he, he's he's laughing at that. Um, He's got a bit of, a bit of, he's calling it bum fluff, so it's not really a beard. He's, he's, he's calling it a bum fluff. I would say he would have been probably aged about 25, 26. Um, and he's telling me that December he passed. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's talking about little girls, so he must have left a little girl. He must have had children, or a mm. child, a daughter. He's talking about a little girl. There's a little girl connected with him. Could be a sister, or a little, there's a little girl. It's giving me the name S, the initial S. No idea. No. Okay. No idea. I've got a pain here in my chest. How, how long? How long has he been? No. Does he find a wife? Does he find a girl? Who's Shane? Oh, Jesus. I was waiting for you to say that. Shane. Shane was older. Okay. Did he die of pain here? In the chest? He, he died of cancer. Okay, His whole I've, body. Got, I've got a lot of pain here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and it's not... Did he spell his name differently? Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, my... Sorry. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. It's my nephew. Oh. He's 20, he was killed two years ago. He okay. was stabbed again. Oh, okay. That's sorry, him. I'll give him my love, please. Well, you, he can hear you. Guys, sorry, we just had to stop for a minute because uh, Trish suddenly realised who um, it was. And that's what happens. Sometimes you, you wait to hear from somebody and you think it's them and so everything that a medium gives you suddenly doesn't make sense and then there'll be this one thing, like I just asked Trish, did he spell his name differently? And bang, straight away she realised that it was somebody else that... that it was a guy named Shane, but he, he didn't spell it S-H-A-N-E. He said he spelt it differently. Um, so, yeah, S-H-A-Y or Y-E. Yeah, okay. So, can you now take that he left behind uh, a, a child? He left behind his little girl. Okay, perfect. So, and he left behind a, a lady as, oh, as well. Um, okay, so that's why I've got the pain here. Okay, because when you said the cancer, it just didn't feel right. I could, because I could feel this pain, mm -hmm. this sharp pain, like, um, holy shit, was he murdered? Yes. Whoa. So, okay. can you, so the age is right then, he got, yeah. he, he got the age right. Okay, and you can understand December with him? Okay. December. So, he's telling me that he... He either, okay, what done? He either died before his birthday or after his birthday or, or, or there's something to do with his death and something to do with his birthday. So it's kind of like, he's kind of saying that like, the way he's, he's describing it to me is like I had two birthdays. So, do you know what he would be talking about there? It's like I had two birthdays. So... You can have a, it's, I feel maybe he died near his birthday because you can mm -hmm. have a birthday when you're born and you can have a birthday when you go back to spirit. So he must have died near his birthday oh. because he's talking about two birthdays. So It'll come to you. It, it, it's, it's like 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. His funeral was on his birthday, wasn't it? Mm. Is that right? Mm. Thank you. Because like I had two birthdays. What do you mean you had two birthdays? Okay. So it's like he died in like the early part of December and then his so then his birthday must have been like mid December because I'm I'm getting before Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm kind of feeling like I'm more in the middle of the month. And 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 yeah, so two the two birthdays are that it was a it was his birthday and then the day that he had his funeral was his birthday. So there's two birthdays for him. Um and that's why I had the pain here. Really, really sharp. Really, really. So yeah. Um, he he was really. Um, he's saying there was three involved. Um, he's 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 showing me two men, and a female. If there's a female, she had something to do with it, but she didn't have something to do with it. Can you understand that? Okay. Okay. Totally. Um. So. Um. Yeah, the, the two guys did have something to do with this. All right. But he said they got them. Okay? Mm. They got them. Um, but the, there is a female one. He's like, she was kind of... They got her. Just let him know they got her. Okay. They got okay. her. They got, they got all five. They got okay. Her. He's talking about the three. Mm. Okay, he's not mentioning five. He's talking about the three. So obviously three must have been important in some way. Because there's two going out still. Okay. Perfect. So... Um, and he wants to just let you know to let his partner and mum know that he's okay. Okay, guys, we're going to cut it here because I'm going to do the rest privately. Um, thanks for watching. Please tune in to our channel. Um, and this has been a different sort of day. Um, thank you, Tish, for joining me. Thank you. Um, it's just something we thought we'd do during lockdown. We didn't expect it to actually go so well. Uh, spirit have been fantastic today. Uh, shame we didn't get the spirit box, but then we didn't need to. And we were we were going to do this at night, but then uh, Trish decided she might go running down the hallway. Um, so <laughs> we're doing it during the day. But I've always said that it doesn't matter to spirit whether it's daytime or nighttime because they're always around. It's just at nighttime it can be a little bit quieter. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, if you haven't hit subscribe, please do. Please follow me on my channel. Help me to get the word out there that there is life after death. It's not scary. Um, it's very comforting to know that they are around us. And everybody keep safe during lockdown. Thank you.